Hi, we're honored to have David Blemens with us here tonight. He's uh, the founder of Tommy Tribe and also a huge fan of open source Java EE. He's also a founder of Tommy and a regular speaker at Java Focus Conferences. Hi, David. How and are welcome. You? I'm Thank fine. Thank you very here. much. I'm great. Great. Hi, uh, it's your first time here in Bulgaria, right? Yeah, yeah, I've loved it so far. We just got here maybe a day and a half ago or something like mm -hmm. that, but it's it's been pretty wonderful already, so it's great. We've been very well received. Yvonne is also fantastic, been hosting us. That's awesome. Um, so um, tell us more about uh, how you started uh, programming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was uh, about 1999 or 97, somewhere in that time frame. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I didn't actually really know what open source was before I got involved into it. I had a friend who actually uh, said, uh, you know, hey, do you want to come get involved in a project uh, around EJB? I thought, oh, that sounds really cool. So he's like, it's open source. And I was like, what's open source? <laughs> so it was, a, it was a very fun surprise. Uh, and I've never looked back since. So it's been about 15 years working in, in open source. Uh, it's pretty special. Uh, what do you think are your most great accomplishments as a programmer? You know, I think it's not necessarily any one thing that I've done, but uh, working with other people, those are my proudest accomplishments. Mm -hmm. um, so over the last, you know, 10 or 15 years, I've had the opportunity to, uh, you know, mentor other people uh, that are now, you know, big contrib contributors, you know, to mm -hmm. open source and also the Java community process. Uh, Things have gotten significant. Things are very different than they were ten years ago. You know, ten years ago, the JCP, for example, which is where all of our standards are created, was completely closed, and you had to be invited in, and they only, of course, invited vendors. And so, you know, over the last ten years, that's changed significantly. So we have now it's completely wide open, and anybody who could participate at any time in any of the specifications. And uh, so I'm pretty excited to see what we'll create with things more open uh, now than they were before. Uh, certainly, I know people here in Bulgaria are, are getting involved. I see, you know, uh, Ivan uh, Ivanov is on the mailing list. Mm -hmm. A lot of the different specifications, and uh, you know, that's probably one of the best accomplishments I've seen happen in the Java industry for the last ten years. Not not specifically mine, but you know, every little person helps. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the moral, moral of the story there. Uh, as a contributor, how do you see the future of open source software as a whole? Yeah, I would have to say that uh, open source has come a long way in the last several years. I think we're maybe two thirds of into the way of really learning how to use open source. I think for the if you look between maybe the time frame of say, uh, 95 to 2005, when Java was, was uh, you know, becoming popular, uh, open source played a, a very kind of narrow role in the beginning of it and has become much more broadly used. In those first 10 years of Java, it was very rare or less common to see open source used. You had to really fight to convince people it was OK and safe. And uh, so uh, that was really sort of the first 10 years. The, the second was all the sort of this era of, oh, it's awesome, and let's use it like crazy. And uh, that's sort of what we're, where we're at now. Um, but I think we've seen a lot of sustainability issues with open source in the last, you know, just a, even the last year. Uh, we had Glassfish, you know, had some tough times. Oracle announced that they weren't going to support it commercially. Uh, before that, maybe a year before that, a, IBM announced that they were no longer going to contribute to Geronimo. Um, we've had things like OpenSSL, the heart bleed bug, and then we all learned uh, that there's only four, five people working on that software. And uh, you know, meanwhile, the whole world is using it. Mm -hmm. And so I just think that uh, you know, we need to figure out the sustainability portion of open source uh, that we just can't use it and then say, "Cool, it's awesome. We saved a bunch of money." We have to figure out how to uh, you know contribute to it because it's to our own benefit. I like to say that a dollar spent in open source is money in your own pocket. And uh, it's, it's, it's uh, I think where, the, where we have to go over the next 10 years is figure out that sustainability portion of open source. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited to, uh, you know, count that as one of 
my accomplishments in terms of what we hopefully do together, uh, you know, as a community. Yeah, giving back to the community. Yeah, exactly. Uh, tell us more about uh, Tommy. Yeah, so Tommy is a Java EE version of Tomcat. And uh, so Tomcat as a, as a piece of software hasn't really changed too much in the last 10 years. Um, it started out as JSP and JSF, excuse me, servlets and JSP, and hasn't really progressed forward. And so if you were going to the Tommy, Tomcat list and say, you know, can I use EJB? And they said, no. You know, and uh, so they had to put an FAQ together about all the things you can't do with Tomcat. And uh, meanwhile, we go ourselves and we add these things into Tomcat, but we don't share it with anybody else. And uh, so the concept of Tommy is pretty simple. Let's, let's do those things, let's share them, and then let's actually see if we can make that certified, like a JBoss or a GlassFish or a WebLogic or a WebSphere. Mm -hmm. And so we, we decided to, to go ahead and, and, and do that and to try and get it through the tests. And uh, it was a little bit of an adventure. We didn't actually know if we could do it. And uh, so we wanted to announce Tommy at Java 1 in 2011, and we didn't get the last test to pass until two weeks before. And so we were all sweating you know, bullets and buckets uh, right up until that moment. So uh, it's pretty special. Sounds awesome. And sounds like an amazing experience you guys had. Yeah, I think we've had some fun uh, working with Tommy. I, I think I've done a lot of open source projects in the last you know 15 years and mm -hmm. it's by far the most special uh, there was a point in time where uh, we all got together in the town tour of France and uh, we just everybody took a week of vacation from work and uh, they they came in this town and we all worked we all hacked on Tommy for a week and uh, it was you know we all did that on our own dime and it was one of the guys birthday <laughs> and uh, you know <laughs> So it, we had, that was probably one of the most fun weeks that I've ever had, and same with the other guys. And, uh, and so yeah, it's, you don't find that every day, and I think that's one of the things that make it truly special. Um, you know, it's not so much the software, uh, or as I say, what one person can do individually, it's what happens when you get enough people together who want to make something happen. And uh, you can actually do quite a lot, you, know, you can change quite a lot if you just you know collaborate with other people and uh, enjoy it too at the mm -hmm. same time. What piece of advice would you give uh, our students here at the Software University who are just now learning how to be good programmers, good software engineers? Sure. I would say the single most important thing you can do is get involved in open source. Um, and I say that not from a perspective of open source needs you. Mm -hmm. I say that from a perspective of you have a lot to gain personally. Mm -hmm. Uh, by doing it. So I tend to find that, you know, we have a, we have a limited amount that we can learn inside our individual companies. Um, you know, you, companies will do things in a certain way and you, you will gain that experience, but uh, when you collaborate with other people uh, much more frequently, you yourself learn a lot really quickly. So I can definitely see the impact of certain people that I've collaborated with in open source uh, you know, over the years in my code. Mm -hmm. You know, I can look at the, my early code and it will be written a certain way and then, oh, that's when, you know, that's when Dane Sundstrom showed me how to use the Java Util, con Java Util concurrent libraries. And so then all my code is different after that. And then, oh, that's when so-and-so said, you should always use final variables. And I thought, oh, I wonder, why would I do that? And, but then I started using it and wow, geez, that's really paying off. I'll do that all the time. And uh, you can learn a lot the more projects you get involved with, the more different people you work with, uh, your coding skills will skyrocket. And so, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an opportunity in front of everybody, but not everybody takes it. Mm -hmm. So be the wise one and take it and propel yourself forward. That sounds like an awesome piece of advice. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you for the interview, and I wish you all the best with Tommy Tribe and Tommy. Thank you very much, Petya. <laughs>